This is a remake of a previous video I did about timing as I mixed up a bit of terminology in respect to acceleration and velocity and I just thought it was important to correct it. Timing is something that's essential in lots of sports whether it's the swing of a leg to make that perfect contact on a volley or in our case a perfectly delivered cue creating tons of action on the cue ball. It's also something that's quite difficult to explain and players will often say when they strike the ball well that it just feels right. So for the purpose of this explanation I'm going to use the screw back shot to help demonstrate things. This is one of the shots that I struggled with most when I started out in the game. I knew I needed to hit low on the ball but I just couldn't get it to spin back much. I then learned about following through on the shot and started to see some progress. However, it wasn't until I started to understand the concept of timing that I started to see far more action on the cue ball. It's just one of those things that when you get it right, through lots of practice as always, it suddenly just feels effortless. So the key to this is understanding smooth acceleration. You do need to hit the ball fairly hard, but it's not just about getting the cue to move fast. The change in speed needs to create a smooth curve as we gradually accelerate and then decelerate the cue. The secret is to then make contact with the cue ball just before we reach this maximum speed. By contacting the ball a fraction before the maximum speed, this allows us to cling on to that cue ball for that millisecond longer as we continue through the ball and generate more spin. If we take a car that's driving along at steady speed, it might be moving fast but it's not accelerating. A car starting from stationary and gradually getting faster is accelerating. The red lines here are spaced evenly apart when we're travelling at a steady speed. When accelerating, the lines start off closer together and gradually get further and further apart as we reach the maximum velocity before then getting closer together as we decelerate. The timing element is then to try to make contact with the cue ball just before this peak of velocity. If we start off by looking at a badly timed shot, we can see the lines start off close together and then gradually get further apart before slowing and getting closer together again. On the surface this looks about right, but if you look closely you can see that we're reaching the biggest gap between the lines before we make contact with the cue ball. If we show this as a velocity graph then it's a little easier to see what's going on. Because we reach the peak velocity just before we get to the cue ball, it means that we're on the downward slope and decelerating as we actually make contact with the ball. This in turn gives us less follow through and as you can see a fairly weak backspin on the cue ball. So the key is trying to strike the cue ball just before we reach that peak in velocity or speed. Again we're gradually building up the speed of the cue and accelerating right through the ball. This naturally helps you push further through the shot because it's difficult to slam the brakes on at the point of impact. If we look at the velocity graph this time, we can see that we make contact with the cue ball just before the maximum point of velocity and the backspin on the ball is far greater without really hitting the ball any harder. As I've said, this is a really difficult thing to explain how to get it right and it really only comes from lots of practice and understanding that feel. The best analogy I can think of is trying to recreate the natural acceleration of gravity on a pendulum. If you hold your arm out and just let it drop and swing naturally, it starts off slowly, reaches its maximum velocity at the bottom of the swing and then slows as it comes back up. If this was our cue swing, then we'd be looking to contact the cue ball just before the bottom of that swing. That effortless feeling you get of just letting the arm drop and swing should feel similar to that smooth accelerating cue action when you get it right. If I try to force my arm to accelerate as fast as possible, then you can see that we don't get that same smooth curve. And it even affects the shape of the path because you introduce extra body movement. This is exactly the same with the cue action, where trying to hit the ball hard won't necessarily create any more backspin. So focus less on power, and more on creating a smooth, effortless acceleration. Try slowing things down, and when you get that feeling when your timing is just right, you'll be amazed at how much more action you can get on the cue ball.
If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.